play the anthem. And then after that, I ask everyone then if they will please remain standing for a moment of silence for Mr. Dick Trickle. We'll start the anthem here as they come on the front stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask if you'll please rise. Gentlemen, please remove your hats as we pay tribute to this great country of ours with the playing of our national anthem. Wisconsin Motorsports yesterday, learning of the passing of Dick Trickle. As I mentioned a few moments ago, I think every one of us here has seen Dick Trickle race at a track here in Wisconsin or on TV in NASCAR or ASA. Lots of great racing, lots of great memories from a man that uh, did things his way. There was a report that uh, some people disapproved of the way that uh, the life of Dick Trickle come to an end, and uh, everyone is entitled to their opinion, but Dick did things his way, and uh, his life ended the way that he wanted it to, I guess, and uh, only him and God know the real answer to that. We're going to miss him. If there was ever someone asking uh, all you fans, name a famous race car driver from Wisconsin, a lot of you would say, you know, there's lots of names that could come up. I'm sure around the lacrosse area, Steve Carlson, yeah, Steve, he's a king over there. 
down around central Wisconsin. I grew up with Larry Beach and Tom Ruffner, Marv Marzafka, Jimmy Bach, but I think the name most important on that list and, and mentioned the most times would be Dick Trickle. He was an ambassador of the sport, and every one of his competitors would say, hey, if you ask him, who's the toughest guy to try to beat out there? I'm sure 